And developing tonight, Colorado now at the center of a nationwide controversy over allegations that Planned Parenthood is selling fetal tissues for profit. The claims come from a pro-life group that's been circulating undercover footage it says proves their allegations. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart is live tonight. Mark, the state is now investigating. In fact, the Colorado Department of Public Health is now requesting documents. The state attorney general's office acknowledges they're aware of this concern. And tonight, Planned Parenthood, which has clinics across Metro Denver, its chief is issuing an email tonight calling the accusations false. It's like stuff like this. Like this is a sample of the video believed to be shot inside a Denver Planned Parenthood clinic. I think the per item thing works a little better. Colorado staff members supposedly talking about pricing for fetal tissue taken after an abortion. Selling such tissue for profit is illegal, yet it can be donated for research if a patient agrees. There was like three or four samples we could have taken out of the 11-6. Other similar video has surfaced in recent weeks. Yet Planned Parenthood leaders insist they are highly edited and don't tell a true story. Planned Parenthood has broken no laws. We have the highest standards. The care and health care and safety of our patients is our most important priority. That's not happening here, sir. Today, as an anti-abortion protester stood outside the Planned Parenthood office in Denver, 7 News has confirmed the Colorado Department of Health has launched its own investigation. It sent this letter to Colorado State University requesting information concerning a January 2013 tissue purchase for research from Planned Parenthood. However, CSU says it followed the rules. In fact, today, Colorado State issued a number of documents today, including these uh, receipts that show that the samples didn't come directly from Planned Parenthood, but rather from an outside vendor. We're live in Denver tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.